Hello, everyone, and thank you to my subscribers out there. Uh, I found this. I wanted to share it with you. I'm not going to read much from it. Link will be below. A star disturbed the comets of the solar system 70,000 years ago. About 70,000 years ago, a small reddish star approached our solar system and gravitationally disturbed comets and asteroids. Astronomers have verified that the movement of some of these objects is still marked by that stellar encounter. I find this very interesting because according to NPR here, he said back in 2012, human beings almost vanished from Earth in 70,000 BC. So, around 70,000 years ago, a small reddish star approached our solar system and gravitationally disturbed comets and asteroids. Around 70,000 BC, a volcano, excuse me, a volcano called Toba on Sumatra in Indonesia went off blowing roughly 650 miles of vaporized rock into the air. It is the largest volcanic eruption we know of, dwarfing everything else. So while this was happening above in the heavens, this was happening below on Earth. That eruption dropped roughly six centimeters of ash. The layer can still be seen on land over all South Asia, the Indian Ocean, the Arabian and South China Sea, which caused the Earth to, or excuse me, which caused the sun to dim for six years. It was all during an ice age, and we almost vanished. So I just can't help but notice the similarity, the similarities, excuse me, of today and this 70,000 years ago. Because it seems like every week now, for several years at least, you got some headline about a new projection date or prediction date for Planet X or Nibiru or Wormwood or whatever that rogue planet or rogue stellar object that comes through our solar system and causes havoc on Earth is going to happen, right? And then all at the same time, you have about a headline every month or so talking about how Yellowstone seems like it's going to erupt or a major volcano like it. It just seems like we're in a very similar time period. It's funny, right? It says, we almost vanished. Because on Earth, it's normal. It's commonplace for entire civilizations and cultures to just vanish, to just disappear. Here's a small list I made for you. Just right here. These four, just, this is many, four of many. Just look it up. They just disappeared. One like the Picts here especially, there's stuff left behind from them that no one can translate because they just disappeared. There's stuff left behind like artifacts and paintings, but there's no one left or no kind of writings or anything like that to explain how to translate their stuff. They just up and disappeared just like these other three cultures did. It's normal on Earth. <laughs> right? Ah! Totally cool. This is another interesting factoid, I thought. It took almost 200,000 years to reach our first billion people, but now we're on a fantastic growth spurt to 3 billion by 1960, and then another billion almost every 13 years since then. By October 2011, we zipped past the 7 billion person, people, whatever marker. It's pretty quick. That's like, boy, that's like the national debt, isn't it? it took forever to get to a certain point, and then we just <laughs> took off. Just like the national debt. A fantastic growth spurt. And it makes you wonder, right? I think that's interesting that. So it says every 13, excuse me. Yeah, every 13 years since 1960, we've grown another billion people. So in 2011, we reached 7 billion people. 7 is the number of completion. So 13 years from 2011 would be 2024, which would be, which would be when the solar eclipse comes back. That ultra rare one, right, in 2024, to finish off when it came through the first time in 2017. So it makes you wonder, since a lot of the stuff is very similar to 70,000 years ago, when the sun comes back over the eclipse 2024, are we going to reach, are we going to be at 8 billion people? Or are we going to be at maintain humanity at 500,000? The sun's going to dim or go out or be replaced or change or whatever. It's happening now. And while, yeah, I'm sure the volcano or volcanic eruption and the ash had something to do with the sun, the sun dimming, I think there's, there's always a, a, another aspect to it, a spiritual aspect to it. It's happening now. We're getting all these in, increasing cosmic rays which is increasing all this moisture because increasing cosmic rays, I've, there's enough research out there to convince me anyway that increasing cosmic rays 
cause cloud formation, which causes more moisture, more all that stuff. So which is why you have winter storm, storm Toby now, one of the heaviest, latest March snowstorms on snowstorms on record. Spring nor'easter, blankets mid-Atlantic, shatters snowfall records. Say North uh, or uh, New York, most snow it's had in 130 years, because all these incoming cosmic rays is causing all this moisture. I don't think that I think that the sun's going to be dangerous to be out in in 10 or 20 years. You know, you have all this, you have super low sunspots, but record high cosmic radiation. That disconnect itself doesn't make sense. It means something strange is going on. And I think that's because we, as a people, are at a low frequency. We low frequency. We're not putting out the energy that we used to. So the sun is having to do it because it's all about maintaining balance. And all this stuff is affecting the sun because it's all gravitational pull, whether it be the volcanoes waking up or the stuff that's happening in the in the solar system, quote unquote. It all affects the sun. And that's why you have to me. I'm just saying to me. I'm just spitballing here. So you have the sun making up for the for the lower output of energy that we're doing because we're we are super low frequency low energy beings. I'm just talking. Just look at America. Let's use America as an example, right? Because we're the superpower. As goes America, so goes the world, right? That's why you have all these countries. Don't let them disarm you because once you guys go, we all go. Okay. We're well. The biggest badass superpower on the planet is the fattest country in the world. I mean, we're sitting around on our asses not doing anything. That's why you have all these different energy drinks and all these different, and that's why coffee, biggest consumption ever right now. Starbucks, all that stuff, huge, huge, because we're low energy. And that's why you have all this inflation and this rising cost, and your money ain't worth shit. They got to jack up the currency because that's what money is. It's currency, which is another word for power or energy, because the output's low. So charge more. So the people who are working have to work their ass off to make up for those who aren't. This is all tied together. It's what the sun does, man. It goes in and out, just uh, it does its weird thing. I don't know what it blows up, goes out, and entire civilizations just disappear. So I just thought this was pretty interesting, you know. 70,000 years ago, you got this crazy stuff going on in the heavens, and 70,000 years ago, you got this biggest volcanic eruption on record. So, like I said a few weeks ago when talking about the cosmic rays, and then now you have this. So I, I kind of feel like this is confirmation, helps more evidence to my case there that you can expect to see. Like I said three weeks ago, or four weeks ago, or two weeks ago, whenever it was before this hit, you can expect to see more record snowfall, more record rainfall. Because this entire solar system is heating up. Okay, and I don't, and I, I'm, I, I'm in a friendly disagreement with someone on this, that it's because there's more weather stations out there and more temperatures being taken. I disagree, because it's happening all over the solar system. The pyramids themselves in Egypt, I've shown you, I've done videos on it. The pyramids in Egypt, if you don't know this and didn't and weren't aware, look it up. The pyramids in Egypt are heating up, and they don't know why. That has nothing to do with there being more weather stations around the Earth to take more readings has nothing to do with the pyramids of Egypt heating up. You have all these incoming fireballs at a record high, smashing records every year, magnetosphere weakening. All this stuff is all happening together. It's all connected. Okay, thanks to everybody for watching. Thank you again to my subscribers.